uh, for example I have this peptide with me alanine9.pdb which has uh, nine alanine residues and this uh, is a helical representation so if I open it with VMD you can see that uh, it's a helix alpha helix and just let me do the new cartoon representation and you can see that it's a very small alpha helix now for example I want to do a, a chiral inversion in the middle of the uh, alpha helix for example we uh, all know that the naturally occurring amino acids they are in L configuration so for example I want to make one of the alanine as a D configuration so I'm gonna show you how to do that so for that you need a software called PyMol which is P-Y-M-O-L you have to install it in your Windows or Linux or Mac system whatever you have and we need to open this with PyMol uh, after opening you see that the default is the uh, cartoon representation so we are just gonna change it to uh, stick representation so that all the atoms are seen and we're going to hide the cartoon representation okay so we have this and for example there are nine alpha carbons and we want to make the mutation in the center so one two three four and I guess this is the fifth one right so we want to make the mutation here now there is a very easy way you can do just uh, in one click you go to the builder and there is an option called invert so you're gonna click on that and it's first letting you choose the origin which is the chiral center so which is this carbon so I'm gonna select that and then the software is prompting you to choose the first stationary atom so I'm choosing the adjacent one and you have to choose the second stationary atom which is this one and as soon as I click you notice that this two groups one is hydrogen one is methyl they are going to switch positions see so the L to D conversion is done in this point and we're going to save it so save L9 mutated dot PDB and it's saved so it's showing that wrote the PDB file and we're going to close it and we're going to open it with VMD both of them together and now we can directly see the mutation look at this position here you can see the chirality of that carbon which is here is changed so in this way you can do site specific mutation to invert the chirality uh, of any protein you want and then you can run your simulations thank you